So this is a little forest patch at Sini Refuge in which we uh, had some prescribed fire. Um, and what we're doing here and what we can see here is the different structural attributes that result from prescribed fire put in a certain period of time in a certain stand structure. Um, what we've been learning through our research with the Ohio State University is fire has typically returned to this landscape before the white man was around at around 50 year intervals. Um, since that period of time when the refuge was established in 35, we've altered the fire regime quite a bit. So many of our forests, which were regulated and shaped by fire, have been pushed to states, structural compositional states that are quite different than pre-European times. This site is one of those. Uh, it's a small forest patch, only about 20 acres or so. Once was predominantly red pine and white pine. The prescribed fire we did approximately eight years ago on this site uh, did what we should expect. It killed, for the most part, the mature jack pine, the shorter lived jack pine. It killed them, produced a diversity of structure uh, from that fire, snags and down woody debris, a standing tree, we call that a snag. The down woody debris is the dead material on the ground. In most forested systems in temperate uh, parts of North America, this is what drives biodiversity, is the dead material left on site uh, resulting from prescribed or rather fire, natural fire in most cases, prescribed fire in this case. But what you'll see here is not only did the fire produce dead material, but it also was selective in what it killed, leaving the larger diameter red pine primarily uh, on the site. These trees will remain on the site or can remain on the site up to 400 years or so. So here's an example of the kind of features that we may get with prescribed fire used at CINI for wildlife benefit.